Hi, my name is Eva Chatterjee Sutton. I'm the Vice President of Student Life and Dean of Students at Washington and Jefferson College. And I am reading Looking for Alaska by John Green. Fourteen days after, warning signs of suicide, the Colonel and I found on the web, previous suicide attempts, verbally threatening suicide, giving away prized possessions. Collecting and discussing methods of suicide, expressions of hopelessness and anger of oneself and or the world, writing, talking, reading, and drawing about death and or depression, suggesting that the person would not be missed if he or she were gone, self-injury, recent loss of a family or a friend or a family member through death or suicide, sudden and dramatic decline in academic performance, eating disorders, sleeplessness, excessive sleeping, chronic headaches, use or increased use of mind-altering substances, loss of interest in sex, hobbies, and other activities previously enjoyed. Alaska displayed two of these warning signs. She had lost, although not recently, her mother, and her drinking, always pretty steady, had definitely increased in the last month of her life. She did talk about dying, but she always seemed to be at least half kidding. I made jokes about death all the time, the colonel said. I made a joke last week about hanging myself with a tie, and I'm going to cut myself off. So that doesn't count. And she didn't, give, she didn't give anything away, and she sure as hell didn't lose interest in sex. One would have to like sex an awful lot to make out with your scrawny ass. Funny, I said. I know, God, I'm a genius, and her grades are good, and I don't recall her talking about killing herself. Once with the cigarettes, remember? You smoke to enjoy it, I smoke to die. That was a joke. But when prodded by the colonel, maybe to prove him to him that I could remember Alaska as she really was, and not just as I wanted her to be, I kept returning to the conversation, to those times when she would be mean and moody, when she didn't feel like answering how, when, why, who, or what questions. She could seem so angry, I thought aloud. What? And I can't, the colonel retorted. I'm plenty angry, Pudge, and you don't have you haven't been the picture of placidity of late either. And aren't you going to off yourself? Wait, are you? No, I said. And maybe it was only because Alaska couldn't hit the brakes and I couldn't hit the accelerator. Maybe she had just an odd kind of courage that I lacked, but no. Good to know. So yeah, she was up and down from fire and brimstone to smoke and ashes, but partly, this year at least, it was the whole Maria thing. Look, Pudge, she obviously wasn't thinking about killing herself when she was making out with you. After that, she was sleeping until the phone rang, so she decided to kill herself at some point between that ringing phone and crashing, or was it an accident? But why wait until you're six miles off campus to die, I asked. He sighed and shook his head. She did like being mysterious. Maybe she wanted it like this, I laughed then, said the colonel, and what? I was just thinking, why do you run head on into a cop car with the lights on? And then I thought, well, she hated authority figures. The colonel laughed. He looked at me. Pudge made a funny. It almost felt normal, and then my distance from the event itself seemed to evaporate, and I found, I found myself back in the gym, hearing the news for the first time, the eagle's tears dripping onto his pants, and I looked over at the colonel and thought of the hours we'd spent on this foam couch in the past two weeks, everything she'd ruined. Too pissed off to cry, I said. This is only making me hate her. I don't want to hate her, and what's the point? If that's all it's making me do, still refusing to answer how and why questions, still insisting on an aura of mystery. I leaned forward, head between my knees, and the colonel placed a hand on my upper back. The point is that there are always answers, Pudge. And then he pushed the air out between his pursed lips, and I could hear the angry quiver in his voice as he repeated, there are always answers. We just have to be smart enough. The web says that suicide usually involves carefully thought out plans. So clearly, she did not commit suicide. I felt embarrassed to be still falling apart two weeks later when the colonel could take his medicine so stoically, and I sat up. Okay, fine, I answered. It wasn't suicide. Although it sure doesn't make sense as an accident, said the colonel. I laughed. We sure are making progress. We were, we were interrupted by Holly Mosier, the senior I knew primarily from viewing her nude self-portraits over Thanksgiving with Alaska. Holly hung with the weekday warriors, which explains why I'd previously, why I'd previously said about two words to her in my life. But she just came in without knocking and said she'd had a mystical indicator of Alaska's presence. 
I was in the Waffle House and suddenly all the lights went off except for like the light over my booth which started flashing. It would be like on for a second and then off for a while and then on for a couple seconds then off and then I realized you know it was Alaska. I think she was trying to talk to me in Morse code but like I don't know Morse code she probably didn't know that. Anyway I thought you guys should know. Thanks, I said curtly, and she stood for a while looking at us, her mouth opening as if to speak. But the colonel was staring at her through half-closed eyes, his jaw jutting out in his distance, uncontained. I understood how he felt. I didn't believe in ghosts who, who used Morse code to communicate with the people they never liked. And I disliked the possibility that Alaska would give someone else peace, but not me. God, people like that shouldn't be allowed to live, he said after she left. It was pretty stupid. It's not just stupid, Pudge. I mean, if Alaska would talk to Holly Moser, God, I can't stand these fake grievers, stupid bitch. I almost told him that Alaska wouldn't want him to call any woman a bitch, but there was no use in fighting with the colonel.